let's do a SOLIDWORKS screw. The tricky part here is to use the spiral and make a reference plane for the cut sweep. Everything else is pretty, pretty simple. Most importantly though, a rectangle or bounding box so you have the correct size. Here we also have a link. So we choose save image. And here we already have downloaded this one, so I just cancel this. We go for a brand new part here. And we could start out with saving it in the right position or right location. So I choose save and here we name it screw in the screw SOLIDWORKS screw folder. I choose to save and overwrite the old one here. Yes, overwrite. Okay, so we can see in the top here that we have the name. There is no star that uh, shows that it needs to be saved. We just saved it. Okay. Let's make a reference rectangle, a bounding box. So we choose a plane to make a sketch on. I choose rectangle. I would like to have the size of this one. Let's say the screw will be 20 millimeter long and six millimeter in diameter. A metric six, possibly. I choose escape, escape to get out of the dimensioning. And now I could actually take the midpoint, select midpoint and shift click zero, zero, zero point and move them together with coincident. You could also notice that everything gets black here. Everything is defined. Uh, blue is fine, but if everything is black, it's governed through dimensions or other constraints. Okay, let's add that sketch image. And you can only do that if you're inside a sketch. And we are. Look at the corner. We go for tools, sketch tools, and all the way down, you could find sketch picture. If this one is grayed out, it's possibly because you're not inside a sketch. Okay, so we choose sketch picture. We take the image that we have already downloaded and we could notice that it's huge so we will just scale it down zoom in and move it just about the right position there and we can see that 20 millimeter is slightly long here but we go for that anyway okay quite good we accept that but before we accept we also have a possibility to change the transparency and uh, that is a good idea to do because if you have parts or sketches behind this one it will be kind of hidden so a little bit of transparency I think is good accept and we accept that sketch and now in space we have this sketch. Take the opportunity to rename it. So if we call, call this the bounding box, uh, maybe image. So we remember that we have the image there as well. Okay. Spell it right. Okay. So now I will do a solid thing here. So I will choose feature and revolve boss base. I will do that on a plane that already exists and those that you really could trust is those that are there always. And I need to zoom out a little bit to be able to see the direction of these. So it's actually the front plane here that I would like to work on. So I choose the front plane Look at the corner. We are inside a function here now. I zoom in here and make a center line. So if I make a center line, we have something to revolve around. And now we just try to 
full of edge here. Here we could decide to let it go for 20 millimeter and actually go there and click here. And now we could decide to go out and go in again and then you get an arc for free there. If it's in the wrong direction, yes, go in again and go out, okay? Something like that, okay? And then I I also will use the old sketch there. So I take a straight line and go up a little bit. And then I go out and go back again to get an arc. Something like that. Uh, maybe we would like to even have it flat there. So maybe that is even better. And I just extend it out a little bit. Okay. And now we will try to follow this one here. So if I go for a three point arc. So if I go for this one and approximately there okay there something like that okay and here we have the midpoint for that arc and if we position this exactly on the center line here it will be flat in the middle so I choose that one and shift click this and say coincident. Okay, so now I know that should be a perfect arc there. Let's make another line here that goes all the way back to the starting position. And now we have almost make, made a perfect fence here. Let's use the power trim tool here to take away some unnecessary information. So here I can also clean up a little bit. Okay, looks good. Here we have a sharp edge there. So if you like, we could choose the sketch fillet. You could also add a fillet later. But let's try this one. Let's change it to a small value like one millimeter. And click on this one and we get a preview there. That's pretty good. Accept that. And now we should have a nice clean fence all the way around here. Some of the parts here are blue. So if we like, we could make dimensions here to kind of constrain this a little bit more. Uh, but it's not necessary. So we could actually leave it like this and accept this sketch. We should get this yellow preview and here you have a possibility to change to another angle than 360. So if you for some reason we just would like to make a half, you could do that or a quarter. In our case, 360 is great. We accept that and we have a body there, a solid body. Uh, you can see that uh, I get uh, a folder here. If you don't have that folder for uh, solid bodies, it could be just yes, because your SOLIDWORKS is not set up to show that automatically. But you will be fine because it will show up when you have more than one body for sure. 